Now, this is Jay's least favorite color on me. And I dig it, but he's like, no. <laughs> Anyways, this is gonna become one of those wacky little videos. I don't know how little. So if you're interested in a little bit of a wackiness, stay tuned. I hate to admit this, but I, you know, I was cruising YouTube, right, and checking on different things and all that, and I saw a video that was recommended, and it was, the title caught me, right, the title, I'm going to read it, the title caught my attention, and it said, there's always a first time, my first time, and I thought, whew, someone's going to talk about their first time, right, dirty mind. And then I looked at the content creator and it was Glitzy Fritzy. So I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta figure out. She's actually gonna talk about her first time. And I'm like thinking, what is Shy Guy gonna say when she kind of bears it all on YouTube? So I watched the video. And it wasn't really clickbait. <laughs> well, maybe it was, either that it was just in my mind. But so I watched the video and it was, um, I don't know if it was like a tag type of video. She did it, and I guess it's an older video on her end. She doesn't remember where she first got it from. Um, but I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do this and see. Yeah, maybe I'll never upload this. I don't know, but you never know. So I'm gonna read the questions. I'll link her video too, so you can you can uh, go watch if you if you're interested. I kind of sometimes like these things because I feel it makes me know. The, the content creator better. Like when I was listening to Glitzy's answers, I was like, okay, you know, I was, I was getting it and I was feeling like I knew her a little bit better. So maybe that'll be the case when you watch my video. And if you are a content creator, feel free to go at it. There's always the first time <laughs> after all. Anyways, question is, do you still talk to your first love? No, no, the first love, I, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface it this way. My first true crush when I thought I was in love. And that person really didn't give me much of, not even the time of day, you know, really. But uh, do I still talk to him? No, he's no longer alive. If he was alive, I probably would talk to him because I know a lot of people from back in the day still today. And uh, I'm on good terms with my ex-husband, so, you know, absolutely. Number two, what was your first job? So my first, first job was I was a car hop in A&W Root Beer. Now, back in those days, car hops um, had, like, they wore mini skirts. They had an apron. They had a change thing hanging off their hip. Sometimes we wore white go-go boots. Um, roller skates were on the way out in my era. But typically the white go-go boots and the mini skirt and you went up to a car and you took the order and then you had this tray, you hung on their windows and you brought a root beer and burgers and whatever, you know, in, in, in a and root beer, we had a mama burger, a papa burger, a baby burger, we had all these root beers and all those different sizes. So that was my first job. And at the same time I started working there, I actually started working another job too. And I started working young. I lied about my age. I was actually 14 when I got my first job and I lied about my age. And unfortunately for me, I haven't stopped working since. <laughs> Anyways, what was your first car? Ah, gosh, the very, very first car I ever got was a Rambler. I don't know what the make was, but I remember it was a Rambler, and I remember the color was sort of like a beigey thing, and um, and I never really liked it, you know, so that was would have been my first car. I had a, a Dodge Demon, or a Plymouth Demon, I can't remember now, purple, Barracuda, remember those cars? Oh my gosh, I loved it, it was purple. That was, uh, that was my second car, the car that I really liked. Who was the first person you texted today? I had to look on my phone because I didn't text anyone today, but I do use something called Vox. And I think the very first person that responded to me today on Vox, 
that I talked to would have been Sheila, simply Sheila. So, hi Sheila. Sheila was the first person I talked to today. Who was the first person you thought of this morning? Actually, the first person I thought of this morning was my brother. He's been on my mind an awful lot. And he died the end of September. And I'm still going through trying to settle his property, settle his affairs, basically. And he was actually the first person I thought of this morning. Who was your first grade teacher? I cannot remember. I couldn't speak English in first grade. And I can tell you it was like Horace Mann School, elementary school in Everett, Mass, or something like that. But I couldn't really speak English, and I don't remember my teacher's name. Where did you go on your first airplane ride? My first airplane ride would have been gone from Boston, Logan, to London. We had a layover in London, and then we went to Germany, and I was about 12 years old. That would have been my very, very first airplane ride, Boston Logan Airport to London Heathrow, and then after that layover, we went to, on to Germany. Who was your first best friend, and do you still talk to him or her? I don't. I think of her often. I wonder where she is. I, you know, a couple of times I tried to I put her name in Facebook just to see. Nothing turned up. I googled her name. Nothing turned up. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she's still alive, if she's still around. I wish I could find her. Where was your first sleepover? I think my first sleepover that I can recall would have been at my cousin's house in North Salem, New Hampshire, when I was a little girl. Who is the first person you talked to today? Well, since box wouldn't count as a talk, I would say it would be my husband, Jay. He was the first person I talked to today and is the first person I talk to every single day, the poor guy. Whose wedding were you in for the first time? Oh, my girlfriend, Debbie. She got married. We were still in high school. She was, she got married young and I was uh, one of her bridesmaids. I still have the photo. If I can find it, I'll insert it. But I, st I still have the photo. It's pretty cool. What was the first thing you did this morning? I went to the bathroom. <laughs> and then I had a cup of coffee. Uh-huh. And then I edited a video. I added some description box into one of the videos. Uh, what was the first concert you ever went to? I don't know. I've been to a number of concerts. I don't remember the very first one, but I don't, I don't remember the very first one. I don't know. The first broken bone. My first broken bone was definitely a big doozy. I had been hiking up a mountain in northern New Hampshire, and it was a mountain I'd gone up plenty of other times, and I was with some friends and it wasn't a super steep mountain but that year the trail had been undermined there was a lot of rains so there was a lot of loose gravel and on the way down I fell and I fell very very severely down off the trail and hit a tree wedged and broke both my fib and my fib fibula and fibula and I was went into shock almost immediately so I had one of those other than the helicopter, which didn't happen, but I had one of those rescues you read about because there was no cell reception. And uh, by the time I was found, there was another hiker who, you know, who had, who hiked up and he got some cell reception and was able to call for help because I couldn't move and I was pretty well out of it. And my girlfriends were all trying to help me. Really nasty. But that, that was a pretty bad break, that emergency rescue, getting strapped to a backboard, being lifted down the mountain, you know, having emergency surgery. It was, it was horrific. It was horrific. Your first piercing. Well, I'm not a piercing lady. I do have two ears. Um, two ears. I have two uh, holes in each ear. So my first pier piercings was my pierced earrings. Um, and I think I was probably about 12. I did them myself. We had those little things that you, you know, you pushed in, you bought the kit. And then I, my second one, I was much older. 
I think my second one might even be closed. I don't know. I do love earrings. The earrings I have on right now were made for me from my life Wendy. She does jewelry. I'll link her her channel below. And she, I bought some jewelry off of her. She custom makes a lot of these earrings and I'm an earring person. I really love earrings. So, my left Wendy. First foreign country. Oh, the first foreign country for me would have been America, right? Because I was born in Germany. And so Germany was my home country. So my first foreign country would have been America. My second foreign country would have been London. And so yeah, that's what I would say America and then London. First movie you remember seeing in the theaters. I think it was just for some strange reason it was Gone with the Wind. And then um, I remember the very first thing that I saw in the theater with a group of students from school was Romeo and Juliet. I love that movie. It was so sad. When was your first detention? Hmm. First of many. I got a lot of detention. I was probably in sixth grade. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was a freshie. Who was your first roommate? I never really had a roommate. I just had a husband. Who, what was the first lesson you ever took? What was the first lesson I ever took? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, when you say the word lesson, um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I went and I became an EMT, so I had to train that. Um, that was a school, that was a certificate, it was really important. I was a female firefighter, actually volunteer firefighter in that town. So there was a lot of lessons that I had to take, classes that I had to take. Um, other lessons is that uh, driver's training. <laughs> That's probably about it. Who was the first beauty related person you watched on YouTube? You know, I've been on YouTube since 2009, but early on in my, you know, being on YouTube, I just considered YouTube as a, a place to deposit my videos. I would I would do localism type videos. I would talk about real estate and I would just put them on there and then I'd put them on a website. So it was a long time before I really um, tra traveled and in, on YouTube out of that little niche that I was in and started watching beauty videos. But I think the very first one that I ever stumbled upon, and it stays in my mind, because she's a fellow New Englander, and I thought it was so cool. And I think that oh, I, the reason I found her is my sister and I were talking about hot flashes. And, you know, we we're getting in age, you know, we we're thinking about that. And so Angie, hot and flashy, showed up when we and, um and I knew that she was from Connecticut from watching her video. So she would have been the very first one. However, I never connected with her. Um, I, I left a couple of comments early on, but I don't know that she ever really saw them, read them, cared about them. I never felt connected. I thought she had really good content. I watched a couple of her videos, but I never, I never felt connected. The second, third, and fourth people that I probably started watching, I got a huge, huge benefit from and felt totally connected. And that would have been, and I don't know who came first, but it would have been Mary Ellen after 60, Natalie the Beauty Diva, and Melissa 55. Those were the three women who were, you know, older in that sense. And when I started to comment on their videos that I felt I felt like I like they saw me. <laughs> I felt like they saw me. And you know, maybe they didn't back then, but I felt like they saw me. Where I I know Angie never did see me. So so those were those were um the most impactful ladies on YouTube for me. So and um what was your first time like? <laughs> that's not one of the questions. But that's actually what I thought. The topic was going to be when I clicked on the link to watch Glitzy Fritzy's video. Clickbait, Mary. No. So I don't know how many of you clicked on because you thought I was going to talk something like that. But yeah, I probably should talk about that someday. It's interesting, but no. Anyway, so we'll see if I publish this just sort of like a funny little thing to do to get to know me better and talk about my first time of all these things. We all have first time. So if you're a content creator, think about doing this. 
and um, if not, leave me a message in the comments and tell me what some of your first times were. Oh, do you like this color? Poor Jay does not like this color on me. I kind of feel like a different person when I'm a blonde like this. Thanks for watching.